<laughs> and there's the intro clip. Maximum bondage, yes. <laughs> What's up guys, Tom with Ferris Engineering, and today we're gonna to be installing dive planes on the Hyundai Veloster N. Ferris Engineering goes about designing dive planes slightly differently than most other companies. We develop the dive planes using CFD, and we actually make revisions based on that CFD to improve performance. Generally speaking, we attempt to evacuate the wheel wells with the dive planes, so actually the downforce generated by the dive planes is more than the actual force on the dive planes themselves. Okay, so we got a full shop today, so unfortunately I'm on the ground. Um, but I imagine most of you guys will be doing it on the ground too, so this will be nice. I uh, don't have any added luxuries of a lift. But uh, in terms of tools needed, all we're going to need uh, today is three different things, or three different things. A microfiber, uh, some isopropyl alcohol, um, and some painter's tape. That's it. So, let's get started. All right, so first things first, what we're gonna do is get the correct template, which is this guy. And uh, when I'm done getting this taped up, I'll actually, uh, I'll bring the camera in and, and uh, show you what it looks like when it's all mocked up. So, here's what we're doing. This says bumper fender line here. So, we're gonna line it up with the bumper fender line. And we're also lining this up with two body lines. One here under the headlight and one here for the wheel arch. Uh, the easiest way, in my opinion, to do this is to line this up perfectly with the bumper fender line and tape that in place. Um, that's gonna get you pretty close everywhere else. Uh, once you have that, the body line under the headlight should line up pretty close. And we're gonna tape that on there. And again, we don't wanna pull the paper, we don't wanna wrinkle it, we don't wanna do any of that. Just let the paper fall where it may and make sure it lines up correctly. So tape down the body line at the wheel arch. And you can see we just have these two pieces here. So we'll take another piece. And we're only really interested in this, this area here. So what we're gonna do is just kind of tape that off there. And just for good measure, we're gonna tape that portion off there. Next thing you wanna do is grab the, the correct dive plane. And uh, we're gonna prep the uh, inner surface that we're applying the VHB to with the isopropyl alcohol uh, should be a mix 50 50 hopefully I'm not wrong if I am someone will put a little bubble up here um, but fairly easy stuff we're gonna prep that and at the same time um, we're going to uh, prep the bumper as well I like to just hold it up so I know how far to go and uh, basically wipe it down. Um, if you're smarter than me, which most people are, uh, you'll do this before you put the template on, but this should do the trick anyways. So, we've got the template on, we've got the surface prepped. So, there's no real trick to this. Um, you just wanna line up the tape with the flange on the dive plane and kind of just slowly work your way down. And when you get to the end, All right guys, once you have the VHB tape applied to the dive planes, we'll be ready to install them. Simply install them where the template is on the car and check the details out above me, which will give you the exact instructions on how to apply it. Once, they're, once it's applied and stuck onto the car, you're done with the install. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, email us at sales at veris-engineering.com and we'll see you later.